Hi, welcome to another Canto RoboFlow training movie. In this training movie, I will show you how you can use a counter, a counter that is stored in a file and can be called time and time again. So um, I created a hot folder workflow with a folder where I'm going to drop um, some files. And I'm now going to add a new parameter uh, called target folder to which I am going to copy uh, the files. I'm adding a selector. You can find the syntax of the selector uh, down below in the help. Uh, select folder dialog like this. And if I say OK, this automatically makes sure that I have a button here. Uh, and now I can say new and I can say target folder. Just like that. Okay. Okay. So now I have my source folder and my target folder. I'm also, uh, I, you, you don't have to put this parameter here. It doesn't do anything. It's just uh, defining the text, the path to the file. But I prefer anything that can be dynamic uh, and that could change in the, in the future. Uh, I prefer to put it in the parameters and not inside uh, the script. Inside the script, we will call this text, this uh, path with the tag command and this uh, name of the tag, name of the variable. Um, the so let's first create the standard uh, functionality. Um, here we go. Um, what do we get? We get a file in a hot folder. So uh, here in the next step, I will be uh, creating the target folder or at least checking if it exists. Um, so I need to make sure I have the folder object in my uh, script before I can start working with it. In other words, before I can copy anything to it. So I'm going to say store a path and the piece of text um, as a folder. And now I'm not hard coding the path in here. As I said, I prefer to keep uh, the hard coded stuff outside my uh, script. And so here I am going to uh, call the target folder variable from the parameters. Uh, then I'm going to say you can uh, Create it if it doesn't exist and otherwise you just leave it like it is and create the folder. So here we have target folder. Always add some additional comments, information. It's your help to make your script readable. So the standard functionality without the counter would be I'm picking up, I'm creating the folder. I say new. And I'm going to now copy the file that was dropped in the drop folder uh, to that folder. And you can see the hot file. That is the name of the variable of the current file. And then uh, I'm going to say copy the file. And then I have the copied file. So this is a very, very easy, straightforward um, workflow. I'm picking up the path because I'm going to drop in a file. And so I here simply drop, go to the folder. And so this is my drop folder. And uh, maybe from my desktop, maybe I have a file. See, I have two files in here. I say control C and I'm dropping them in here. Now, here I'm going to uh, start the workflow. Uh, so the workflow will look in the folder, find the files and copy them to the target folder. Uh, so uh, show log, you can see it has processed the file called capture before and the file called capture. If I go and have a look into the target folder, you can see that the two files have simply been copied there. But imagine that you don't want to uh, do that with the original file name. You actually want the files to be renamed. You can rename them 
with a date timestamp you can rename them with a counter etc etc uh, so in this example we're going to go for a simple counter could be a combination with the date and the counter and the so many it file of today etc all things that are uh, possible so how do i uh, change this well let's start by creating a counter file so i'm simply going to uh, invent a, a counter uh, file so um, i'm going to say counter file like that and if you want to be able to edit it you could go and look for a param uh, file uh, parameter but actually you don't need to edit the file because if it doesn't exist it will create it from uh, scratch so let's uh, uh, where is my select metadata select permissions select uh, select activity state record filter test SQL test mail test file file uh, export param file here it is uh, so select param file dialog so i copy this Control c and i paste this and then you can see that i added this um, this will as soon as i click ok disappear and now it automatically knows that this is a parameter file now you can decide where to put it by default it suggests to put it in the param folder uh, the folder of the workflow you could put it you can put it anywhere you like uh, you can call it any way you like so i'm gonna con call it counter which uh, makes a little bit more sense than just param and at this point this file doesn't exist i'm not even going to edit it uh, i could if you want to say it needs to start at number 500 then you can go in there and uh, put number 500 there so i'm saving this uh, you're working in a web environment so it's always safe to uh, regularly save uh, your changes now the next next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to rename the file to the counter um, i could take the file name plus the counter i'm just going to do the counter um, and uh, but i want to keep the original uh, file extension of course uh, you don't want to lose that um, so uh, i can do it like this if i want to keep the file name in its complete uh, i can say new conditional not but file folder i want to store something i want to store a part of a file as text and then it's going to say which file well the hot file and what uh, do i do you want do you want a file name well in the this example i'm going to take the file name you could just take the extension you could take uh, the file name without extension or uh, the file name i'm going to take the file name you will see what i'm going to do like that file name just like that now i want to pick up the counter so new and if we take a look at file folder then we can see that we have an increment counter file so if i say okay and then it says give me the path to the file so give me the path to the file um, well that means that um, this will be uh, that counter so it will be something like hash hash and then i'm picking up tag here i don't like typing so you have it here like that and i'm gonna pick up the variable name from here i called it counter file like this and control c and i'm going back here and i'm picking up that variable you can decide uh, how many digits the number will have if you say for instance six the number one to three will become zero 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 one two three and so very often people like to have a, a formatted uh, number so i can say the number of digits in this case is for instance six and then i'm giving uh, this a name i can say new number and now what i can do is i can simply 
uh, use this variable new number in uh, this uh, copy move instruction I can say that first of all I want to keep the original file name but I'm going to put that number in front of it so I have file name uh, I, I should have uh, done the other way around but okay control C control like that and so here I want to prefix it with the new number and so new number which was the variable name I gave it so if we run the same workflow again you we uh, have in the drop folder again the two files and if I start the workflow the files disappear and if we have a look in the target folder it now says 001 002 so that's how you can call every time you call that instruction it picks up the value adds one and stores uh, saves it back and stores that information uh, in a text variable that you can use inside your uh, script so this was a very simple example of how you can use counters in RoboFlow. As I said, you can have counters by year, by date. How would you do that? Well, in that case, you simply make sure that uh, the counter name has, uh, has the, um, the date. So if you're saying, okay, I want every month uh, the same, um, uh, a different counter, I want to count per, per per month or per day, then you just change the counter name uh, with that specific uh, prefix of uh, year or month and so something uh, something like that. That can uh, make sure that your counter then is a yearly counter or a monthly counter, etc, etc. Thank you for joining for this uh, training movie and let me know if you have any questions.